Hello my Luminites, it is Ivy and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hello. My name is Ivy, also known as Intuitive Ivy M. Here on this channel, I am a YouTuber here. I am also the co-owner of an amazing spiritual business company called Unearthly Treasures where we sell all kinds of things such as earrings and necklaces, spell jar necklaces, we sell oils. Um, as well as sprays for protection. Um, we also sell intention candles. We are launching mystery boxes, which I'm so excited. For. We're gonna have like a welcome mystery box. It's just gonna have everything that our company has to offer. Um, so you can get a little taste of everything that we have, as well as a spooky themed box that's going to come with more like Halloween, Samhain typed um, things um, and, and there as well. We're coming, we're launching a, a beautiful, amazing Halloween candle called Pumpkin Queen, which is going to smell like pumpkin spice lattes. And we're also going to launch an intention candle called The Thinning of the Veil, which is going to be a candle intended for the use of communicating with spirits and those on the other side if you wanted to do so. So yes, I'm so excited for that. Anyways, you guys. Um, also, I launched a podcast called The Woo Woo Podcast, a podcast for the spiritually open-minded. This is a podcast where we talk about all kinds of things that are out there. Same kind of stuff that we kind of talk about here, except in much more depth and detail. So if you guys want to check it out, you I will put the link down below. Hi, my name is Ivy. Um, if you are new here, this channel is all about the magical, the mystical, and the supernatural. I post three Three times a week. Mondays are for the magical, Wednesdays are for the mystical, and Fridays are for the supernatural. We've been going on this subject of aliens, and I kind of want to continue, kind of wanted to continue this subject because I covered it in depth in a podcast because I have all this research done. I just wanted to continue talking a little bit more about it here, but like I said, if you want an in-depth version of all of this like check out my podcast because we go into all kinds of shiznit including including if you guys like if you guys want to hear me curse i curse on there <gasps> so yeah so there's that anyways let's go ahead and let's let's just get right into it we're, we're going to be talking about different alien races that are in contact with earth so yes let's go ahead and just jump right into it we have to start with the grays the grays why we're starting with the grays is because they're like the most known this, these are like the aliens that we see all over our media i mean they literally have it if you have an iphone it's your emoji like that's your alien emoji is a gray um so the grays they come from a star system known as Zeti Reticuli or Zeti Reticuli, which is a star system that's located somewhere in the Southern Celestial Hemisphere. So this is a little over 40 light years away. So the Greys are actually our closest neighbors, which is probably why they are the most mainstream because they're the closest species to us or their planet is the closest to us, I should say. So the greys have the like greatest tendency in abductions because they like to stockpile humans. Um, so they basically, they say that they think of the earth the way that you think of a chicken farm and they're basically just like conducting experiment, experiments on us and this and that. However, there's like not all the greys are bad why they like abduct us and experiment on us is because i mean they they have no emotions so they don't know that they're hurting us they're not like aware of it so it's not like they're purposely trying to do it it's just that they're they have no emotions for it so their development was actually found to be necessary after greys started mutating themselves and basically cloning themselves to the point where they couldn't um reproduce on like regular ways you know normal ways to reproduce so they had to start cloning themselves and obviously that doesn't offer that many that much genetic 
variation or DNA variation so they had to merge with these like they had to merge with another being in order to create more natural offspring. So the next species that we're going to talk about are the Arcturians. So the Arcturians, one of the species that are known to inhabit the Milky Way, the Arcturians are the most ancient and the most wisest. This was the first system to be given the gift of life in our galaxy. And all, all, all of the other species, ours included, may have descended from them. They've mutated and evolved over their time and now exist in many forms. The main race of Arcturians stands to about five feet with green skin and large eyes that can see right through you. This race's developments of their minds rather than their bodies make them small in stature, so you could probably take them on in a fist fight. But they do have a reputation of being the most kind and loving beings in the galaxy. Okay, so the Arcturians' mission on Earth are believed to be ruled by love and are actively working to help humans on Earth love themselves and each other. Their lessons focus on expelling negativity, fear, and guilt from our lives and exchanging them for truth, love, and light. They teach of self-love and acceptance and are very non-judgmental. Their planet is said to have been rid of sickness and disease for centuries. They are a people of scientists, explorers, and healers who travel the galaxy to assist other planets in healing themselves. They would love to do the same for all of us on Earth. So like I said, the Arcturians are known to be very, very sweet. Very, very sweet. A very, very sweet race. Moving forward, we're going to talk about the Yael. So the Yael is a, another race that are tend to be more, are seen as more like the nicer good guys. The Yael, they're very advanced and they're very obsessed with technology, which is why they went, came to our earth. They are the ones that are, they're green beings. They're green be not green beans. They're green beings, not green beans. And they look, again, the picture that I saw of them kind of sort of look like the greys, except the heads. So their heads go more like this way, kind of like, you know when you see like the Egyptian, like the pharaohs had that hat thing? Their heads are more shaped like that. Um, and they're the ones that are making more contact with us and they they're basically like easing their way into like us getting comfortable with them so the whole thing that happened like with the phoenix light supposedly that was the Yael. We're gonna talk about the Anunnaki. So the Anunnaki are known as more malevolent creatures. Again there's good and bad in every species but the Anunnaki come from this planet called the planet Nibiru? 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 I can't say it! Nibiru. Nibiru. So they come from that planet and they're basically, they came to, they're the type of like, just kind of, I guess, like humans. They go like how humans, like when they find new land, they just want to take all their resources and forget everything else, right? So same thing with the Anunnaki. The Anunnaki basically came to Earth in search of gold. And we are basically, they say, they say that like, we're kind of like their not offspring but that we were created by them and then we were given our own planet because we like rebelled against them but the reason why we crave gold even though it has no like value to us like it doesn't like it doesn't give us nutrition anything like that the reason why we crave gold supposedly is because the anunnaki craved it why the anunnaki need gold i i don't know but they that's what they say the next ones that we're going to talk about are the Alpha Draconians. So the Alpha Draconians, these are like the Anunnaki's enemies, basically. So they were the ones that claimed Earth before the Anunnaki did. And after the Anunnaki was like, like grabbed all the resources and all the gold from the Earth, the Alpha Draconians are like, hey, like this is my turf. And there was this like this whole war 
that went on. The Alpha Draconians, by the way, are like these like 22 foot tall beings that like resemble dragons and stuff. And they like supposedly teamed up with the human race to like fight the Anunnaki. And they supposedly they're still like patiently waiting for like the Anunnaki's return to sort of protect them. So to sort of like, def yeah, they're, they're defending their turf and this is their turf. Um, so that's interesting. So that's another that's another alien species. Um, so I got a lot of this information online um, from, and I will go more in depth about it again in my podcast. And I also got it from this little book here that I got called The Beginner's Guide to Star Seeds. This is another good little source of information. But anyways, you guys, th those are just a few. Like, I can go into it. I want to actually read that book before I get more into, like, star seeds and all that because I don't know too much about it. So since I don't know too much about it, I don't want to get into all that. I do know about the some alien races because I've been doing a lot of research on them, though, so that's why I wanted to cover this topic. Anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on that notification bell to be notified when I post. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.